So one of the things that we have said for 21 years now is never forget. So it's important for us to honor the 343 members of the fire department who perished on September 11, 2001, and to do exhibitions like this so it continues to be in the forefront of the public's mind. When I did this project, it really was a project for myself, and I hadn't planned it to be in a place like this. I mean, it, it's remarkable. I think it's the right place for it to be for its launch in the United States. I like to use the camera as, um, the, the, I guess, the language and the grammar of photography to tell people stories. And I'm very much about isolating the subject so that when you're looking at that image, I'm hoping you can get a sense of what that person's about and who they are and what they're trying to tell us. Where do individuals find growth through trauma and how do they actually get any growth at all? And is there any redemption at the end of that trauma? And so I approach it from that angle. And that was the interest to me about these normal people from one day in September are thrust into this horrible life, a day of hell that has gone on now for 20 plus years. And how have they moved on or not moved on? And what can we learn from their experiences? These people, apart from incredible strength and resilience, it is really about just embracing the moment and the moment that you're in right now and just living that moment. My dad was Lieutenant Joe Levy. He was a lieutenant um, at Ladder 15, the South Street Seaport. Um, my dad loved being a firefighter. I really love the photo especially because that picture of my dad and I, it's one of my favorites. Um, and that photo frame was given to me by my mom and um, you know, on it says, um, my hero, and um, he will forever be my hero. I want them to think about their loved ones and think about what other people have sacrificed to allow them to live the life that they're living and they have continued to live in the last 21 years. I hope people take away that memory of what it really meant to lose these individuals that day, thousands of them, and then also just honor the heroic efforts of the first responders and really connect with their family members. We also feel that the photos really create some kind of hope and, and inspiration for what these family members have been able to endure as survivors.